So I think the main challenge for global leadership in this moment of the poly crisis is, is real fear. What we're seeing is the fact that leaders are not ready to confront challenges head on and they're getting stuck in short-term knee-jerk responses to big crises that are hitting them, whether it be the pandemic or whether it now be conflict either in Gaza or Ukraine. And I think we need brave leadership. We need leaders who are ready to confront this fear and the fear mongering that we're seeing from many different sides, especially the glowing, growing right wing, and, and really come forward with policies that embrace both a shift and a just transition and decarbonization and also social equity policies. We need to see a lot from the upcoming European elections. First of all, we cannot slip into the current predictions of moving towards the radical right. The radical right is already now shaking things up against our nature protection law, indicating that we need to become more competitive like the United States, that this is not the time to move towards the European Green Deal and that we need to simplify and even deregulate. And this is not possible. We actually have to move faster, but we can do it in a way which is smart and optimized. We can do it in a way that actually takes away the perversities in the market and shifts that capital towards green projects, towards social projects. We can do it in a way that actually taxes wealth rather than taxes people and shift that wealth into the pockets of more people. Because what we're going to see is that if we have growing social tension, which is what we're seeing right now with the farmers actually in the streets, that is going to create such instability for our goals, whether they be green objectives or social objectives, that we could potentially see revolution.